This story is called The Cracked Water Pot. I've heard lots of different versions of this story all over the world. It's a bit long, but it's totally worth it. And it goes like this. There was an old woman. She was a water carrier. That meant that her job was to go down to the river every day, fill her pots with water, and then she would carry the pots up the hill, up to the house of the person she worked for. Some versions of the story say she worked for a king or a prince. Others say that she was carrying water to her own house. But that doesn't matter. What matters is the path she was on. Now, in those days, when you carried pots from the water up the hill, you would have this long pole, and you'd put a pot with a handle at the end of each pole, and you'd carry it on your back like this, and you'd walk up the river with each step. And you can imagine the pole between my hands behind my neck and the water pots heavy on each end. Well, as it so happened, this woman's two pots weren't the same. One pot was perfect. Its walls were solid. It was able to hold all the water it could. And by the time it went from the river down below up to the house, it was always still full. The other pot, the other pot had a crack in it. And this crack meant that by the time the pot went from the river all the way up to the house, it had left a stream of water there on the ground and the pot was only half full. But these were the only pots the woman had. And so she carried them every day. She would go down to the river and she would fill one pot and she would hang it on her pole and she would fill the other pot and holding her pole, she would hang it, lift, carry them, and up she went. But of course, one pot was more full than the other, and so it began to twist and turn her body over the years, and her spine became twisted and her back became stooped, and she carried the water every day. And this went on for years. Now, as it so happened, the pots, they noticed this. They noticed how the old woman kept stooping and bending. They noticed how one of them leaked and the other didn't. And finally, one day, they decided to do something that pots don't often do. They spoke to the old woman. One pot said, I'm so proud of my service. I've always done such a perfect job. I never spilled a drop. The old woman said, yes. And you're right to be proud of good work. That's okay. But the other pot felt differently. Oh, oh, I'm so ashamed. I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? All these years carrying water up the hill, the one pot was heavy and full, but I got lighter and lighter. I didn't do my job. I, I was cracked. I was broken. The old woman thought for a moment and said to the cracked pot, come with me. Took the pot in her hands and walked down the path. Look along this side of the path. And there along the side of the path, the cracked pot saw Nothing, just ground in the edge of a path. There's, there's not much to see, the pot said to the old woman. You're right, there's not. The old woman went down to the water with just the one pot and filled the pot again, carried the pot like this. Of course, the pot was dripping some. The pot felt very upset about this. But look on your side of the path, the old woman said to the crack. What do you see there on your side, now that we're walking back up? And there along the path, the, the pot saw all these wonderful flowers, beautiful flowers and butterflies growing all the way from the river, all the way up to the house. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. How did you plant all these flowers? And the water carrier woman said, my dear pot, 
I've always known about your flaw. And so, even though you might feel ashamed of it, I was also able to use it to do some good. When I noticed that you were always leaking a little bit of water, I planted some flower seeds. And then every day as we would walk along and you would be dripping water along the side of the path, you watered those flowers. Do you mean, the pot said, do you mean that the flowers wouldn't be here if it weren't for me? That's right. The water carrier held the pot up and kissed it. And then she said this. Sometimes we have a flaw that we feel sorry for. And I'm glad that you apologized. But sometimes our flaws also make us who we are. So, it's good that you apologized, but it's also good that you were yourself. Now, that doesn't mean the pot stopped doing its work. And that doesn't mean, of course, that the woman didn't have to carry the water. But it did mean that just like with human beings, sometimes the worst parts of ourselves can be made into something good. There's a saying I've heard in Talmud, and I heard it in a song once by Leonard Cohen too, that each of us is like that cracked pot. We're a little cracked and we're a little broken, but that's how the light gets in. So with that in mind, on Yom Kippur, we apologize for all the things that we could do better, but we are always trying to be a better version of ourselves. We can't ever be perfect. But we can, perhaps, plant seeds and grow something beautiful from what comes out of who we are. Gamar Khatima Tovah.